What's going on, guys? Michael Lee here, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and welcome back to another video that I have for you this week. So to all my subscribers, welcome back. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhoods, tours, as well as property tours. Now, this week, we are in the city of Green Acres, Florida, touring a specific condo in the River Bridge condo community, specifically Crosswinds, which is a subdivision of that division. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's just Florida how we do the subdivisions and the HOAs out here. Now, Crosswinds includes 89 townhomes, and they can go from two bedrooms up to three bedrooms and two baths all the way up to two and a half baths. Now, the square footage is going to be from 1,100 square feet all the way up to 1,500 square feet. We're going to be checking out a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, just under 1,500 square feet today. Um, so these townhomes were built in the mid-1980s, starting in 1986 all the way up to the mid-1989, 1990s. Now, there are a few condos and townhomes that were built in the early 2000s, specifically 2000 to 2001, but those are very, very small out of the 89 condos slash townhomes that we have in this community. So without further ado, let's go. Welcome to River Bridge Condos, and we are in the Crosswinds development of River Bridge, where we're going to be checking out this beautiful three-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath townhome, two stories. And what's interesting about this particular property here is that the seller has had the option for you guys to purchase all of the furniture that you see here included in the video. So that's why I'm going to kind of show you guys the furniture in a little bit more detail than I usually would because you do have an option to purchase this furniture included. So you can just, just bring your clothes if you need to. So we're gonna start with the first floor. Open floor plan that connects the kitchen. Well, this necessarily isn't an open floor plan. I apologize for that. But you do have the kitchen in the back with a separated space as you can see with that large mirror, but you do have the dining and living room connected. So you do have space for a five-seater, square, round, rectangular, whatever fits your fancy, or you can just keep this in place and just bring your stuff. Everything has been meticulously maintained. Right here off of the living room is the half bath. So this is going to be one of three bathrooms. So that's why I said it's going to be a two and a half bath. In here, so this is your guest bath. So if you have guests over, you know, you do can, uh, you guys can just access the bathroom around the first floor and don't have to go upstairs to the second level. Now, immediately off to my right here is going to be the stackable washer and dryer. Me again on the first floor. So I don't know how I really feel about, you know, coming down all the way downstairs. If, you know, you're washing dryers downstairs, that may be a little bit of an issue for a few, but. I understand it's being on the first floor as well. As we're going to walk into the kitchen, definitely a coastal vibe throughout the household, as you'll see throughout the tour with the pastel colors, stainless steel appliances throughout. As you see, she has smart work up on top of the cabinets. Granite countertops. Farmhouse sink, stainless steel appliances, and double-sided fridge. So pretty standard, very clean, very straight to the point. And then before we go outside, it's, it's a little bit of a muggy weather outside, so I'm not going to step outside today. But you do have an enclosed patio screened in. So not a lot of space back there in the back, but just enough 
to where you can go outside, get some fresh air, and not be bothered by mosquitoes in this Florida weather. So with that being said, let's go check out the second level. Oh, also before I go upstairs in the second level, this is access to your one car garage here. So you do have a one car garage outside connecting you straight through. So this will be your interest from your one car garage here. Now, all right, so as we make our way up to the second level, when I toured this property a little bit earlier, this thing does make me feel short because of the way they did the ceilings. You have vaulted ceilings up here as well and one thing i'll show you before we get into the rest of the tour is you do have a skylight so you do have now natural light coming through um, on the upstairs so on a sunny day you definitely have some natural light coming through now if you're not a big fan of natural light that may be a turn off for you but if you are a fan of natural light you'll love that so here's some more artwork here like i said all of this furniture and art pieces are included with the sale with the exception of televisions. They are going. So let's check out the first full bath. You see tile upstairs, basic tub, nice vanity. Now they do have, I believe that's an automatic toilet, but it's for another day, I guess. And then you also have okay, taking a bath. Pretty interesting. So as we go down the hallway, immediately to my right is another bedroom here. The first of three. They have this setup where, you know, if you have two children, if you're in a bedroom, you have guests, it definitely has like that resort type of feel to it. Um, nice clean. You know, they have views of the front of the neighborhood as well. Standard closet space, a little bit of additional storage up top if you need it. Now this third bedroom, before we check out the primary, is staged as an office. So if you have that third child or you know, you want to use that as a third bedroom, you can, or you can keep it as an office as is. And use this for additional storage and just keep this as an office or as a third bedroom. So it's your choice on how you would like to use it. Now, as we continue straight ahead, straight ahead, I believe this is going to be some additional storage space, maybe for some towels or you know, linens, you know, you can never have too much storage in a home. You're always acquiring new things. Now this is the primary suite. Now one thing interesting about this primary suite is the closet. I don't know what it is in these tours with the closets recently, but I've been seeing a lot of windows and closets. This one is, I will have to say, a closet that I have not seen before. So, now, I've been in quite a few closets, but I have yet to see outside of Texas with those videos on Instagram with the two-story closets. I have yet to see a closet with three-story racks that, like, I'm a tall guy. I'm 6'8", and I can't even get to the top of that rack. So, you're looking at about... I want to say 15 foot ceilings in the closet. So you have tons of storage space to go up in this primary bedroom closet, which I think is kind of incredible because I did not see this in this uh, particular town home, which is cool. Last but not least, we'll check out the primary bath, dual vanity sinks. You have some additional space for some storage. They did include another storage cabinet here just to give you an idea of what you can put here. You can also add more storage if you need to, maybe a lower rack storage for maybe six drawers you can have there, or maybe, you know, two of these here, however you want to design it, but there is space for more storage in a bathroom if you need it. Or you can just expand this and maybe bring it all the way down to the 
to the edge. So shower included, freshly tiled all the way up to the ceiling, stainless steel, same as the guest bathroom in the hallway and downstairs. And then you also have additional storage space for the vanity as well. So you have this all blocked out. You know. So there is a ton of space if you need it. And like I said, all of this furniture can be included in the asking price if you need to have it included. So as I walk downstairs, I'll tell you guys there is a HOA on this one. So it is $730, whether it's monthly or quarterly. I'll put it in the uh, description as I'm walking down the steps to let you know exactly what it is. But if you've lasted this long to the video, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.